This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Welcome back to Farm Factor and a look at the later stages of the beef production chain. Cattle have changed. If your management hasn't, animal scientist Robbie Pritchard suggests you look to be sure it's still relevant. Take cattle finish, for example. The definition of, of when cattle are finished is actually entirely up to us. Um, that we're still learning how to be better at our business and we don't quite have all of the pieces in, in play. All the pieces are in play, but we don't have them in the right proportions to necessarily be able to accomplish all the things we would like to do. Our pricing structure and some of our traditional management strategies will have to change going forward. Smaller framed cattle on poor nutrition used to need more feed per pound of gain toward the end of the finishing period. Average daily gain would slow while cost of gain increased. When I started my career, when a steer was finished, their intakes would begin to level off or, or drop. And they became very inefficient, so it was more profitable to sell them before that happened. Today, between the genetic potential for growth of the cattle and the improvement in the management of the cattle, they they don't reach that tailing off point. So our cost of gain, even on, on overly finished cattle, is still cost effective. So we have to have a different reason that we decide that pen is finished. The animal scientist says carcass size might be one of those new reasons. And the discounts aren't enough to scare us away on carcass size, but the packer could just, rather than raise the discounts, they may just say, we don't need your cattle, they're too big. Not having a place to sell them becomes a big problem. Profit potential on new sets of cattle might also be motivation to harvest a finished set. If I feed these cattle another 30 days, maybe I'll make another $10 per head. If I market these cattle now and replace them with cattle that would make me $50 a head, let's change over to the more profitable group. There are also consumer demands, such as portion size and plating preferences, to consider. To learn more, visit cabpartners.com. I'm Jenna McCrell. Come back after the break for this week's Plain Talk. Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture, represents grassroots agriculture. The state's largest and most powerful farm organization stands up for its members through leadership development, agriculture education, legal defense, environmental advocacy, farm safety, and risk management. Members also enjoy money-saving benefits. To join our organization today or to learn more, go to www.kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter.